See, this skin, you got to have skin for this. This skin ain't for everybody. So when the, when years when it wasn't going my way, years I'm signing with Swish House, people ain't happy. Years I ain't selling no records. Years I'm still drinking and smoking. Years I'm still going to jail. I never gave up. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. In your entire life, what would you say is your biggest achievement? Consistency. Dope. Wow. On everything. And let me tell you, um, longevity, consistency, and I would say whatever word is for, I never give up. No matter the circumstances. I'm a, um that's why I tell people it's easy for me to accept the word legend or accept um all the homage that's given to me because I I'm I accept all the ridicule. All the pain, all the hurt, all the down talking, all the derogatory. I live through that. See, this skin, you got to have skin for this. This skin ain't for everybody. So when the, when years when it wasn't going my way, years I'm signing with Swish House, people ain't happy. Years I ain't selling no records. Years I'm still drinking and smoking. Years I'm still going to jail. I never gave up. Never gave Why up. Why did you stop drinking and smoking? Because it was just, it was time. I didn't stop smoking. <laughs> well, why did you stop drinking? No, I stopped drinking though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because um, it just became time. I was drinking syrup all my life, and I ended up catching a case at one of my studios, and I had just got out of a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. And the judge was just like, you know what? We really spared you. So if we convict you on this, we're gonna fire the 99. You. So it was a bunch going on in my studio. Anyway, long story short, they had me on a pretrial from November. 2010, 2011 to April 2012. Couldn't drink, couldn't do nothing. You have to take a piss test every time you go to court. So I was just out five months. I told God, if I beat that case, I never drink again. I never sip another piece of syrup, not an ounce, not a deuce, not a tray, not a cup, not a wok, not a act, nothing. And, you and that was 12 years ago, and I never, I ain't been back since. How hard it was it to just stop? I, once I got off on it, it was the hardest thing ever. But my freedom was on the line for that five months. Mm -hmm. And I had just got out of a lot of bunch of trouble. So it was going to be more of an embarrassment to be back in trouble for some drinking. Uh, and, and 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 I just got out of all this 10-year trouble that I was in. So once I got it out of my body from November, I never came back. And when I say never came back, not a sneak, not a little bit, not a comeback, not a nothing. You know, people say the hardest thing is not when you're in trouble and you – you go cold turkey. It's when you come back out and you're around all your friends that are doing it. I love it. That's my that, that's my that's my biggest thing. Mm -hmm. That's that's my biggest. I love it. Hey man, you can see that. That's when I knew that I was strong, and that was my first testament of discipline. Mm -hmm. When I could come around, man, it's it's everywhere. It's cups. It's it's everywhere. And let me tell you something. I'm not a hypocrite. I don't come to the table when it starts. Be like, what are you drinking? Why, Why are you, you drinking still? that? No, no. This was a choice I had to make for me to change mm -hmm. my, and it changed my complete life. Got my family back, became a better father, became a better hustler, became a better entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? Got my faith back with everything I need to do. Because that does slow you down. Well, it changed my life completely. I've done it 20 some years straight. So to get away from it and to get my full health back and come out of it with my kidneys, come out of it with my health, come out of it, uh, I was blessed. So I don't talk. Yeah. Now, if you ask me, if you my partner and you ask me, then I'm going to give you my, mm -hmm. you know, opinion about it. But that was a big step for me it, in my life. Man, I did it, and, and I know it was a big step because it's like, it's not popular. And, mm -hmm. you know, you, you come around, I've been at places like that, and, and they be like, man, why he don't drink? I done heard that for years. Yeah. Man, why you don't drink? I'm just in there chilling. I have a good time regardless. You know, I don't need... Matter of fact, I think I'm having a better time than you. You know what I'm saying? But you worried about it. What would you worry for? I think a lot of times people are insecure in what they're doing because they really lost in who they are. Self-awareness is real. Yeah, self-awareness is real. And that, that really helped me out. You know what I'm saying? That that kind of saved my life on um, moving forward. When it, man, I just... I turned up after that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That just went to... Like I say, man... It was just crazy how different things started happening out the blue. Man, I started getting pieces to my catalog without even having to go to court for it. It's That's a it. blessing. You know, God. shit just happening. You God know what I'm saying? Door, God door, man, door. I was in deals, bad deals, and I just called the people and told them I wanted out. Man, it's a bad deal I want out. Okay. Out. <laughs> I was like, man, this shit is... God favor. You know what? Favor. That, that, that just shows like when you start walking in purpose. Yeah. 
he starts opening the doors. That's all that is. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.